Potter's Journal. It is July 2021. I've been doing a series of faux bois, um, stumps, logs, birdhouses, frog houses. This is made out of industrially extruded clay pipe and flue liners from a chimney. I have been going bigger and bigger and bigger to the point where nobody's even going to buy or pay for one of these this big not where I come from so today I've been saying you know I think this can be done on a potter's wheel let's see what's going on in the studio today okay so here we are on a potter's wheel it has been three over three months since um, I've used this thing. I can't claim like I did three years ago that I've been away from this for 20 years. That, um, yeah, I think my history has snuck out. Uh, but I will say this is the clay pipe clay. It's not made to throw. Um, it's uh, brick clay in a sense. And it has extremely heavy grog in it. In fact, this is it. Let me show you. Look at that. Um, I say I take it out of my slip for doing hand building. So that's what's in this stuff. And it worked out fine. Well, it didn't work out fine. <laughs> One of my very first videos on making bird baths with it. Um, because they were thick and heavy, um, it worked okay. But we're going to try to do this a bit thinner here today and see what happens. And this is the part that I find difficult. This might be um, easy for a beginner because they always leave let extra clay down here that they don't get centered. Um, I always catch it all. But today, since we are doing faux wood, fake wood stump planters, we have to make a root that's going to stick out down there. So I am leaving a foot. Um, you might do a similar thing if you are making oh, a planter with a built-in uh, drain catch or maybe a toothbrush holder. I'm sure there might be some other things too. Um, and actually, uh, three or four years ago, when I was away from clay for 25 years and first came back, this was the only clay I had around and the first thing I used. And um, I really started the hard way because um, it, it's, um, I'm not having the trouble I did then, but this is tough stuff to use. And as a stump, these are not the way they really are, that generally a stump, the root, it's widest at the roots and it gets narrower, it comes up. I'm doing it just the opposite. Um, it is getting wider at the top, so I'm not sure how these things are going to look and if it's really going to work when we're finished. But if you've been watching this series I've done with the stump planter, with the log planter, um, and then my picture show visiting the plant where they extrude the stuff in the workshop, uh, but you don't have the pipe. Okay, yes. Well, we'll see. This can be done on a potter's wheel. Okay, we will see about that. I'm not done yet. Uh, the other reason I'm bringing this out and making it wider on the top, unlike a stump, is so a plastic flower pot um, or a flower pot could just fit right inside here. Okay, now these are going to have to stiffen up a bit before I can work on them. And, uh, but I'm going to show you, we'll take a quick look out at the garden. Okay, some tips for entertaining outside in the summer. Zucchini's not quite ready, but okay, blossoms. 
Um, we'll stuff these, fry them. But you know, the reason I have to do this warning, be careful. Um, start trying to impress your guests and they will expect you to keep out doing yourself. Caution! I am so used to working big that I don't know that I'm going to be able to work small and impress you or if this is going to work out. Remember that grog. Okay, remember that heavy grog. Well, when I went to cut these off, look at that. The um, wire, the wire, the grog just kept taking the wire up and up and up. So we went through, let's see, one, two right through the bottom of three of them and i'm not used to that kind of thing but um we've still got a few more here i i since this is um, um prototypes here i just want to see if this can be done um i am gonna try about um eight of them i think i have here well i guess six now um okay so i am just taking a knife a fiddling knife and going around and cutting a square out of this I cut yeah just like that leaving um yeah the little things that'll be the roots um, on there now what do we do you know on the big ones this is not going to be sculpted like I did on the bigger ones this is meant to be fast this is meant to be able to be sold cheaply um, uh, hand thrown pottery flower pot one day uh, years ago somebody said that much for a flower pot um, well at some point yes that much for a flower pot but uh, we're gonna take on some of the uh, what may go into cheap import pottery the idea on these thrown ones is for it to be small and quick that that quick cut around there so that um, the root actually where the root isn't the um, form kind of goes underneath and clean this off real fast okay so yeah that's all smooth now there's a throw mark here I am going to you know what take this up in like that I am putting both the texture in and giving especially where the root is a bit more shape um, or I should say the texture of the bark and it leading down into the base and the root and okay so we've got yeah the bottom part formed now and next is the two little arms okay that if you remember from the other videos are reaching out and saying welcome okay so just for luck we will scratch score that and a bit of slip and a um, couple little oh, <laughs> round balls of clay let's see uh, where is my clay well I'll just get the one that I dropped here on the floor um, let's see just stick those on round them out the um, zucchini blossoms all you do is put uh, some ricotta cheese take a plastic baggie cut the corner off so you can extrude it out of the corner add some herbs I um, since it is a blossom maybe to make it taste flowery um, you could use rose water or um, or vanilla which is probably more common in most kitchens or, or lemon juice Okay, so there we got the two little arms reaching out. Um, I think this is maybe going to work. Okay, to do the texture the rest of the way, um, I've been just taking a little cloth. I guess those uh, jammy things that people have um, would give both a wood texture and not dig too far into the clay. You know what I am stopping just short of the lip because this is very thin compared to the extruded pipe I've been using and it's really um, pulling and reshaping and I want a round top 
to this. Okay, and then following over and around where the branch arms stick out. Okay, round off the top. Actually, maybe push the side in. The only other thing I do texture-wise is um, for the wood grain, where maybe this branch that was coming out was cut. And I will put it in the lip too. These are not to be glazed. It's terracotta. Um, I will fire them higher enough to vitrify it. Um, I may put a little bit of like it was freshly cut um, under glaze in there and there and then the rest could be brown. Oh, I don't believe it. I wasn't sure that this was going to work. There we go. Faux bois, fake wood on a potter's wheel. Okay, baby, and there with um, Dad. All right. <laughs> so I saved you three. Here's where the stem was. You can see where the flower comes down. Saved you three, except I've been saving them for three, two or three weeks now. Um, when we had the birds nesting, I had to work them into the birdhouse video that we did last week. Um, this is really not that difficult. I had them once um, on the island of Kos crossing through the Aegean uh, waiting to catch a ferry into Turkey. Um, and you think, oh wow, this is something you'll never find somewhere else. But then, you know, try it in your own kitchen and find out it's really not that difficult. The same with the faux bois. Okay. Try it. Try it in your own studio. It's really not that difficult. But then at the same time, I didn't know this was going to work out. <gasps> oh, so, and do put a little hole for drainage in. Um, I'll have to say I do still have with the faux wood a um, couple more tricks up my sleeve that will pull out here. And I do have to get back on the potter's wheel that... Um, I'm already sold out of many blue pots, okay, at the shows, so got to get to work on some blue pots again. Okay, stop back and see what happens in the studio next week. And I don't know, maybe you do want to try them.